Hi, it's Rob from Property Investments UK and in today's video we're going to be looking at whether property training should be specific to one particular strategy or topic or whether they should cover a broader spectrum of different kind of strategies and, and different ways that you can kind of get involved in making money in property. So the first thing to consider when you're uh, maybe looking at joining a property training program or a mentorship program is that there are some downsides if that program is only geared around one particular strategy. So if maybe, for example, it um, just focuses on property sourcing. Well, if as you get started in that program, you decide that maybe property sourcing isn't right for you, or maybe there's more time or more money involved than you originally anticipated, it might not be the right fit, but there could be plenty of other options and plenty of other strategies that could work for you in your particular situation, the amount of time you have available, the amount of funds you have available to invest. So what happens sometimes with some very specific training programs is they kind of neglect some people that might be um, fantastic in property, might really get, get on well with some other types of strategies just because they, they stand alone and only focus on that one particular element. So if you are thinking of property um, training and you are looking at a property mentorship program, just consider the, um, the strategy, I guess, and, and just try and look for something that's maybe got some other variances to it rather than just one narrow kind of niche strategy. Now, the flip side to that is if you then start to look at property training that's very broad, that has loads of different strategies in there, but it doesn't go too deep. It's maybe only just kind of skims the surface of some of the information. And what you might find is that you get an idea of what strategy you want to do, um, but then it doesn't give you enough to actually physically take action. So it might be lacking in terms of some of the content or some of the support or some of the different step-by-step -step processes that are needed to actually be successful in property. So it's really a balancing act between the two. Um, that's why we'd always suggest when you're looking at property training is to try and find the best of both worlds. Now with a property training program and mentorship program that we have available, we don't just focus on one strategy. We have about nine different topics, nine different strategies that we focus on. That includes everything from straightforward vanilla buy to let through to property sourcing, conversions, flip projects, serviced accommodation, HMOs, a whole range of different property strategies. What that allows our clients to do is get a bit of a feel for which strategy is going to be right for them. And we don't just kind of um, give you the benefits of those strategies, we also tell you the downsides of them as well. So where we've gone wrong, where I've gone wrong personally in those types of strategies, while well, we've been building our portfolio over the last 10 years. So you get to see the whole picture. Separate to that, as you kind of progress through training, it's also very in depth. So we look at a range of different kind of topics and strategies, as we said, but we also look at how you can um, ultimately go forward with each of those. So how do you find the areas? Uh, what do you look for in terms of what's going to be the right type of property deal? And what makes it a good property deal for that particular strategy? How to negotiate with a homeowner or with an estate agent? And really everything from start to finish. So not only the strategies and the goal setting and the locations, but also everything involved after that kind of process as well. So when you're looking at property training, I try and find something that's not too specific, also something that's not too broad and doesn't go too kind of in-depth in the training, um, or not go in-depth enough, but something that kind of nails both of them, gets right in the middle and gives you all of the content, all of the strategies, everything you really need to be successful in property. And that's what we aim to deliver with the property investment training program that we have. So there'll be a link on this page um, below this video or near this video that you can click on to learn more information about the property training course. But hopefully that helps give you a bit of an insight in terms of what types of property trainings you might come across um, if you're interested in education or courses or mentorship around property. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this content and you'd like to join our free online property training course, we've got a link for it on this page. And in there we cover a range of different property strategies to help you get started, either building a long-term property portfolio or creating cash flowing property business. We also look at ways to increase your return on investment with any of the property so you're maybe considering. And we also have a couple of cheat sheets and downloadable documents in there as well. Simply click on the link to join the free training course today.